see standing, our saxophonist will lead us into worship. Ayo, 
your maker, your creator, your savior, your redeemer, our shield, our fortress, our buckler, our refuge, our sun tower, the God yesterday, today, and forevermore, the king of kings, the king of glory, the I am that I am, the everlasting father, the unchangeable changer, the only God that ruler in the affairs of men, can you give him glory, thank him for your life, for the gift of life, thank him for good health, Thank you for his goodness and mercy that follow you on a daily basis. Thank you for answer prayers. Thank you for joy that he fill your soul with. <laughs> Giving glory for peace. Thank you for answer prayers. Appreciate God for all round victory over all your foes, over all your adversary, over every enemies of your life. Give God glory on behalf of every member of your household. Oh, your spouse, your children, your mates. Appreciate God for the work of your hand, your career, your business, your ministry. Have thank God for helping you thus far. You have a reason to appreciate God. Many are in the mortuary. They are not in the sanctuary. But here you are in the sanctuary. Magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt the name of the Lord together. Our pillar, our source, our sustainer, our yesterday, our today, our tomorrow. Let him hear your voice this morning. Masu Palema Shantalia. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus, most wonderful name, we have worship. Only one person is saying, Amen. Amen. Can you rise on your feet and lift up your two hands as you take just two prayer points very quickly? And if it were you, you pray this prayer with all your strength and with all your heart. Brethren, the enemy does not want you to make progress. They don't even want you to be lifted. They don't want you to go higher. But I have good news for you. Whatever that has been programmed to slow down your destiny, the law will destroy. And anyone born or woman that sends over their dead body to see you lifted in life, it shall be over their dead body. If you are saying amen, say it loud and clear. Lift up your two hands and fire your first prayer arrow this morning. And say, Father. Say, Father. Ara. Any satanic programming. For whatever quarter. From the marine kingdom. From the covers of the witches and wizards. From satanic altar. To slow down my destiny. Oh God, my Father. Destroy them all. Can you go ahead and touch to that mighty God? I don't know why you have been stagnated. I don't know why you have been retrogressing. I don't know what is responsible for the downward trend in your life. This is your season of glorious advancement. Cry to the almighty God. Cry to the almighty God. That every evil programming for whatever quarter that has slowed down your progress, your lifting, your promotion, your elevation. Masu pale mama. Zale baba baba baba. Gabre kasantalia. Brother pray, brother pray, brother pray, brother pray. Nothing will stagnate your business. Nothing will stagnate your destiny. Nothing will stagnate your children. Nothing will stagnate your life. Let God destroy every programming. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus, most wonderful name, we have prayed. Lift up your two hands and take the song. Oluwajo, wagemi. When God lifts you, nobody can bring you down. Oh, Lua Hey, why? Brethren, I can't hear you loud and clear. Baba, me, John. Why? If you can't sing it, Lala, I say, Gay me, Lassi. Oh, he be king. Repatent, Brandeva, son, Talia. Gay me, Lassi. 
Somebody is going higher. Somebody is climbing higher. Oh, my God. Ah, why can be so great? Is a let you sue me? Ah, I ain't been okay. Is a let you sue me? Baba, I am well okay. When you open me, I see. Oh, he be king. No, who are you, Baba? You're well, I see. Oh, God, he be king. Oh, no, I want to. Why, baby, it's okay. Up your two hands to heaven. You are going to convert that song to prayer. You are going to tell God you are tired of where you are now. Brother, there will not be any day we will not pray that prayer. Because we are talking about glorious advancement. God must lift you up. God must change your level. God must take you higher. Say, Father! I am tired of my present level. Ara, 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 lift me up, take me higher, higher, higher on every side, spiritually, physically, financially, materially, ministerially, business wise, academically. Lord, take me higher, Lord, take me higher, Lord, change my level. Is somebody praying at all? <laughs> Let them pray for yourself, Masu Pala Baba. Ne papo galebron da gazan tali mama. Yipa la brende kagusa pala ma shantalia. Thank you, mighty Father. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Mighty and everlasting Father, we magnify your holy name. You are the Almighty. The all powerful, the unchangeable changer, the God that rules in the affairs of men, the omnipotent God, the mini science God, the mini present God, the almighty Lord has said our worship in the name of Jesus. Thank you for all you did last week. Thank you for what you are said to do this week. Lord has said our thanks in the name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, I pray concerning all the expectation of your children present here this morning. Lord, let them not go back empty handed in the name of Jesus. I stand at the servant of the Most High God and I decree any satanic programming from whatever quarter to slow down your destiny, your progress, and your elevation. I command, let God destroy in the name of Jesus. Lift up your two hands, mighty father. I ask for every hand lifted up, Lord, put your hand and lift them higher in the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter the level you are now. I speak as the servant of the most high God and I decree before the end of this month, God will change your level spiritually. Your level will change, physically, your level will change. Financially, your level will change. Materially, your level will change. In your career, your level will change. In your business, your level will change. Change for better. 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 In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Three powerful amen like thunder. Jam those hands together for the Almighty God and make a joyful noise unto the Lord. I say, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Celebrate your Maker. Celebrate the King of Kings. Celebrate the Lord of Law. Celebrate the many potent, the many present, the many signs of God. Let heaven hear your voice. Scream! Amen and amen and amen. Let me be seated in His presence. By the special grace of God, 
Good morning, Holy Spirit. Continue tomorrow with anointing service. If you want to clap, go ahead and clap. And the topic in this season of glorious advancement is Who art thou, O great mountain? Who art thou, O what? Meaning, whatever thou not allow you to advance forward shall be brought down. I'm not the one saying it, it's your God that have said it. Who art thou, O great mountain? Before who? Sunday. Sunday. It's Sunday I've said that is there. Don't you see it? Let somebody shout hallelujah. I said, let somebody shout hallelujah. By the special grace of God also, our first physical overcomers vigil after several months, after two years of meeting physically, shall be this Friday. You are not excited. This Friday is the third Friday and it's our overcomers vigil and it's going to be both online and on ground. Praise the Lord. And as usual, we start by 11 and then the workers are to be here by 10. Let us not forget, and my prayer is, as we bombard heaven and hell for our advancement, God Almighty will answer us. This morning, we want to look at the topic that the Lord himself laid in my heart. Your gift and glorious advancement. What did I say? Your gifts and glorious advancement. Turn your Bible together with me into the book of Genesis 41 verse 8 to 14. Genesis 41 verse 8 verses 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 to 14. And it came to pass in the morning that his spirit was troubled and he sent and called for all the magicians of Egypt and all the wise men thereof and Pharaoh told them his dream but there was none that could interpret them unto Pharaoh verse 9 then speak the sheep butler unto Pharaoh saying I do remember my fault this day Pharaoh was wrought with his servant and put me in ward in the captain of the gas house, both me and the sheep baker. And we dreamed a dream in one night. I and he, we dreamed each man according to the interpretation of his dream. And there was there with us a young man, an Hebrew servant to the captain of the guard and we told him and he interpreted to us our dream to each man according to his dream and he did interpret and it came to pass as he interpreted to us so it was me he restored unto my office and him he hanged verse 14 then Pharaoh sent and called Joseph and they brought him hastily out of the dungeon and he shaved himself and changed his raiment and came in unto Pharaoh. Beloved, permit me to let you know this morning wherever you are listening to me and you're under the influence of my voice, you are created by God for a purpose. And there is no any creation of God that is useless. Take note very uh, 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 carefully. There is no single creation of God that is useless. Be it inanimate or the animate. Everything God created 
It's for a purpose. And coming to us, human beings, there is no one God has created that God has not deposited something. Look at yourself very well this morning. And listen to me carefully, sir. There is something in you that your neighbor does not have. There is something in you that no one else has. And that is how God has created human beings. And that's why in that name there is a book of that name. Potential deposited in you shall be activated today. From our Bible passage, we remember the boy Joseph. And one thing special about Joseph is that everywhere Joseph got to in life, talking about glorious advancement, I'm not putting myself on definition because we've done justice to that all throughout the week and uh, last Sunday. Everywhere Joseph got to in life, his glorious advancement can be traceable to the workings of the gift of God in him. For instance, Joseph in his father's house manifested the gift of God in him. Genesis 37, 5 to 11. Joseph in his father's house. Remember he had a dream. Two dreams for that matter. That made according to verse 11 of Genesis 37 verse 11 of Genesis 37 his brethren envied him because of the manifestation of the gift of God in him can I pray for you sir the gift of God in you shall manifest Joseph in the pot of slavery in the where pot of slavery it was his gift that took him to the pot of slavery. Where is the pot of slavery? The pot of slavery where the pot where the Ishmaelite traders met with the brothers of Joseph. Genesis 37, 27 to 28. At that pot, they sold Joseph into slavery. Why? Just because of the gift of God in him. The gift of God in him make his brother to sell him to slavery. Praise the Lord. We are looking at advancement. We are looking at Joseph moving from stage to stage and how he got to the peak of his destiny. Joseph as a general manager of Potiphar's house as what? General manager or domestic director DD praise God praise God what do I call him? domestic director director na was equally as a result of his gift Genesis 39 verse 3 to 4 Joseph was given the appointment of a general manager or domestic director because his master saw the manifestation of gifts in him praise the Lord he saw the gift of leadership in him he saw the gift of management in him he saw the gift of prudence in him. He saw the gift of wisdom in him. I am praying for somebody. Your gift will move you forward. Yeah. Joseph, as the de facto, underline the what? The de facto 
controller of prison was because of his gift. We have the Dijor and the Difato. The Dijor is the one by law recognized. The de facto is not recognized by the law, but is the one doing the work. Let somebody shout hallelujah. How many political science students are here? They didn't come. Praise the Lord. I said, Praise the Lord. Joseph became the de facto controller of prison because the keeper of the prison saw the manifestation of the gift in him. And one thing you discover concerning the workings of gift in a man is that where you're supposed to suffer, the gift make you to enjoy. <laughs> Can I pray for only one person? God will terminate suffering in your life. I am praying for somebody here today. You are looking for white collar job. Unknown to you that there is something in you that is catapulting you to greater height. That thing shall be activated in the name of Jesus. In Potiphar's house, Joseph was supposed to be suffering as a slave, but he was in enjoyment. In prison, Joseph was also supposed to be into hard labor. But Joseph was into enjoy. As a matter of fact, Joseph has a flat to himself. Right there in the prison. Hello. Not just a flat. He has servants that cook his food. That clean up his apartment. Praise the Lord. Even as a prisoner. Have you gone behind the bar before? I said, have you gone behind the bar before? Do you know why it's called behind the bar? You are limited in freedom of movement. But when you discover Joseph being able to go about, then you know he is a warder and not a prisoner. Hello? You didn't get that one. Joseph became the de facto controller of prison just because of his gift. And by the time you get to Genesis 41, verse 38 to 46, Joseph had gloriously risen to what? The prime minister of Egypt. Can you see the movement? Can you see the progressive movement? The, his destiny got to the peak. Brethren, I am here to announce to you that there is something God has deposited in you that will make you sit with kings. That will make you sit with the noble. That will make you sit with those that matter. It will manifest in the name of Jesus. Your advancement can be gift driven. If you look at the life of David, in 1 Samuel chapter 16 verse 18, it was gift of God in him that brought him to palace. If you look at the life of Daniel, Daniel as well had glorious advancement which can be traceable to his gift. If you read Daniel chapter 5, verse 11 and 12, verses 11 and 12, the queen, the mother of the king, described Daniel and the gift of God in him. Praise the Lord. And by the time you get to Daniel chapter 6, Verse 1 to 3, you discover that the gift of God in Daniel made the king to want to set him above all the presidents. Praise the Lord. And you, when you read Daniel chapter 2, verses 47 and 48, you discover that Daniel's greatness that he began to reign was because he manifested the gift of God in him. Daniel manifested the gift of God in him so much that Daniel was relevant at the reign and the tenor of five kings in the land because of the working of the gift of God 
in him. Beloved, every gift in you, God has ordained it to lift you in life. God Almighty has ordained every gift he deposited in you to take you higher. Your own might not be dreams. Your own might be interpretation of dreams. Your own could be cooking. Hello. What do I call it? Do you know cooking can be a gift? And how do you know you have that gift? If for any reason anyone that eats your food tell you you are a great cook, you are a great cook, know that God already is calling you into the ministry of E3. You are laughing. You are laughing. If you are a good teacher, you are an excellent teacher. You have that gift in you, sir, ma. That gift can take you to the peak of your destiny. You can be a singer. When you have the gift of singing, you don't need to advertise yourself. One presentation, one ministration, we announce you to the world. Your gift might be playing of football. Hello? How do you get to know Rona Messi? How do you get to know Ronaldo? Hello, I'm asking, sir. How do you get to know Akosha? Eh? They were talented players. And I want to talk to you, parents. Don't kill the destiny of your children. It's not every child that will be a medical doctor. It's not every child that will be a lawyer. It's not every child that will be an engineer. If your child is gifted in graphic artist, leave her or leave him alone. Let her manifest her gift. Is somebody with me here today? Many of us have killed great destinies because you want to impose your own wish upon your children. Please, sir, please, ma. I am begging us today. When you discover your child is manifesting a gift, encourage him or her. It has nothing to do with you. It has all to do with his or her destiny. We are talking about glorious advancement. Your employment may not take you anywhere, but the gift of God in you can take you all over the world. Brethren, you apply for a job. They give you a job. At the end of the day, you are not fulfilled. But when you add passion to your gift, you become fulfilled. I am begging us today. We are talking about glorious advancement. There is something in you that will take you to where no one can ever get to. I was listening to a testimony of somebody. How many of us have heard? Science student about Faraday, Mike Faraday. Science student, physics. Have you heard about Mike Faraday? Do you know how the man became great? He was a printer. He was what? A printer. Who loved to wash. In those days, they, they go to laboratory to see scientists uh, 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 perform experiments. Today, you only pay to go and watch movies. Maybe in the third service, I'm going to be talking about what you watch and your destiny. Third service. You go home and come back, you stay and stay and stay. Let's always shout hallelujah. 
No, God have loaded us for somebody's greatness. God have loaded us for somebody's lifting. Father Day, watch a professor. I've forgotten his name now. Listen to him. Bind his teaching on his own and send to him. The day the lab attendant of that professor left, he remembered somebody used his skill to bind his teaching and send to him. He came looking for him. Sir, can you work for me? My lab attendant had left. And that was how my Faraday began to work with that professor. The professor to an extent become envious of the manifestation of intellectual capacity of my Faraday. And that's why today you can read a lot of things of his contribution to the world of science. Can you tap two of your neighbor that you love? There is something in you. I say two of your neighbor that you love. I say your neighbor that you love. Are you sure the one sitting beside you is the one you love? Or the one behind or the one? I say tap your neighbor you love. There is something in you. There is something in you. There is something in you. <laughs> let somebody shout hallelujah. I said, let somebody shout hallelujah. Sir, ma, have you discovered your gifts? People know at all there is something in you. If you have not, sir, ma, discover your gift today. Go to God. Tell God, Lord, I want to discover my gift. And listen to me. You don't even need to pray too much about it. Just observe yourself. What are the things you do with ease? Let me ask you, sir. Do you know that doing house or call job, cleaning the house, do you know it can be a gift? I know a man that own a cleaning a, a business today. Why? He loves to clean. If you are looking for people that matter, that can clean establishment, clean, you must call that fellow. I don't want to mention his name because he has not paid me for advertisement. <laughs> Let somebody shout hallelujah. I'm telling you the truth, sir. Nothing you do that has no reward. You are applying. I remember my cousin when we were in the university. His parents could not finance him. How did he get himself financed in the university? Sir, ma, he was an artist. Before you know, he started doing greeting cards with uh, uh, gold dust. You know that gold dust? You use uh, uh, for my, uh, you use a uh, uh, stick to do the writing and put gold dust on it, it come out beautiful. This was what he was doing till he graduated from university. Today is a computer engineer. Today is a lecturer somewhere in um, Glasgow, in United Kingdom. Brethren, have you killed your gift? Today it will come alive. Yeah. My time is fast, man. When you discover your gift, don't ignore your gift. First Timothy chapter four, chapter four, verse fourteen. He said, "Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy, with the laying of the hand of the presbytery." Number two, when you have discovered and you don't want to ignore it, develop it. Develop that gift in you. Tell your neighbor, develop the gift in you. Second Timothy chapter one verse six. Second Timothy chapter one verse six. I'm rounding up because of time. Say, wherefore I put thee in remembrance that thou stir up, thou do what? Stir up the gift of God which is in thee by the putting on of my hands. Hello, hello. Number three. Serve selflessly with your gift. Don't commercialize your gift. When you serve selflessly with your gift, your gift draw reward beyond what you have charged for it. 
Daniel did not charge Nebuchadnezzar. Pharaoh did not tell Joseph did not tell Pharaoh, Pharaoh, is that your dream? Before I will interpret, give me one million dollars. He did not say, before I will interpret, release me from prison. He did it selflessly. He got there was no how Pharaoh, there was no how Joseph would have charged Pharaoh and would have charged him for the position of prime minister. Because it is still within the capacity of Pharaoh after he finished interpreting the dream to send him back to prison. Is somebody with me? Read that in First Peter chapter 4, verse 10. He said, As every man has received the gift, even so minister the same one to another as good steward of the manifold grace of God. What do we have today? My instrumentally don't want me to talk to that area. They will charge you and charge you and charge you and charge you. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't. Anything God has given to you, sir, you use it how? Selflessly. And see whether God will reward you or if Pastor Kunle Ajayi have charged Pastor Ie Adeboye of his gift, will he be where he is today? Will he? Brethren, let's learn. If Nathan Ebasi have charged Pastor Escort for blowing his trumpet, to the extent that they were to take him away with $10,000, his pastor told him, don't do that, it is not time for you. He obeyed. Go and read his testimony. And look at him today. Look at him today. Render your gift. How? Selflessly. And God will catapult you to the top. As I close, the Bible says, freely you have received. Freely do what? Freely give. Matthew 10, 8. Heal the sick. Clear the leper. Raise the dead. Cast out devil freely, you have received freely. Give shall we rise. I'm pressing on that upward way, new height. I'm gay. Lift me up, Lord. Lift me up and let me stand by faith and love. stable land where love and joy and light abound. Lord, plant my feet on high. Examples of Joseph, David, Daniel, they have only one thing in common. They were true children of God. They have relationship with God. Beloved, you may not discover what is in you until you draw closer to God. Something happened. A brother met a pastor at filling station with a new car and the brother said to the pastor I came to church I look at your parking space and I saw that you have changed your car it was a Lexus say I don't even know what is wrong with me that I'm not developing my gift that might be your own case too There is something you have that you are not developing. All you need to do is to get closer to God. And you discover that that thing will manifest freely. 
Are you here this morning? You want to come closer to God. You want to say bye bye to sinful life. You want to discover your purpose and destiny. Can you lift up your right hand as I pray? Even though time is not on our side. God bless you, sir. God bless you, ma'am. Is anybody like that? Is anyone like that? If you want to do that, raise your hand above your head and I pray with you. Is anyone like that? Ushers, help me. Raise the hand above your head. Or you want to restitute, you want to return. You want to be restored from your backsliding state. You used to be a child of God. And then God has been using you. But now you have returned back. You don't even see those gifts manifest in you again. But you want to return back to God. Lift up your right hand and I pray with you. Is anybody like that? Okay. Everybody lift up your two hands. And take just one prayer point. And say, Father. Whatever gift you have deposited in me. That I don't know or a lying dormant by the power of the Holy Ghost activate them now can you go ahead and touch your mind God there is something God has deposited in you <laughs> there is something that is in you that you don't know <laughs> ask God to activate it now can you pray sir can you cry to the Almighty God? Palima kato ba shian chale brande. Zaza ba ye kaka ba le mama. Zublae kaswan chanda li brande kasan chali. Thank you, Mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Stretch out your hands to the other. My Father, my God, you know why you sent your word this morning. Lord, I cry to you concerning every life here this morning. Whom you have deposited one treasure but are dormant. By the power of resurrection. Lord, activate it in the name of Jesus. Receive grace this morning to develop the gift God has deposited in you in the name of Jesus. And I decree Whatever God has deposited in you, let it take you to the top in the name of Jesus. Let it cause you to advance gloriously in the name of Jesus. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Say that, Amen. Three powerful times. What's good?